Good morning. So uh, back to Snippipixie Div. Um, been a couple of days. Uh, just some stuff on yesterday morning. Uh, so where were we? To do add snippet. Okay. And I think didn't I have another to do as well? So that was in main, yeah, and in the D bus. Okay. So this is the CLI, um, which is going to communicate with the D bus server. Um, for the D bus server stores all the snippets and things, so that we can um, connect to it via CLI or GUI and so on like that. And I'm working on the CLI at the moment. So we've got a ping command working already and do we have don't have any tests for the dbus side of things I suppose we can't at the moment not without a dbus server I guess that's the whole point of it really um yeah, so I don't think we can add tests for that. But what we can do is try and work out how to actually do the um, the add snippet. Now, let me just check um, what databases have I got up and running. I've got on there. What's it got in it? Nothing. That's good. Okay, and let's just check the settings. Yeah, set okay, that's fine. And I'll just check scheme is all correct. Blah blah blah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Okay, so what we need to do is now add a command. So we've done the flags, if I remember correctly. or not. Yes, we did. Yep. And then we've got a test up here as well. For add positional abbreviation and body and short form abbreviation and body. Um, and we do we have failure conditions here? Yeah, so add without a body, too many items, just the abbreviation, just the body. Okay. And what we probably should do is do a quick test here to make sure that it doesn't matter which way the abbreviation and body are. Um, so we'll take both of those and we will just swap these bits. So body and then abbreviation. And then here as well. Okay. Right, make sure that test runs. It does. And we'll just double check that this one runs as well does some passes, that's good. So we're testing the init stuff there. 
so that's good. Okay. So we know we're getting a command of add snippet with the arguments we expect. We now need to use it. So we need to create, we need to basically do the same here as that. So we need to create the service cooler. So Call it here. Yeah. Let's actually have a little thing here. Just a little bit of ducky stuff there. All right. So, yeah, what we're going to do? Well, we're going to do bunk. We're going to do service as usual, uh, which is a service. And we're going to hang on for a add snippet. And we're going to pass in an abbreviation, which is a string and a body, which is also a string. And we're going to expect back something a little bit different this time. We're going to expect back pointer, I guess, to a snippet. And or I know. That's going to be interesting. Unresolved type snippet. Why is it unresolved? Ah. I have to do all this stuff. Okay. Um, I'll save that for a second. And then here we'll do go. All right, do we do this again? Yeah, go get now. Oh, I can just grab it from the definition. Oh, let's try that. Okay, 
Oh, all right, well, that's not going to work then. Do we need to do it? Let's just check it hasn't done anything to after the... Okay, mod? No. Okay. Do I have to do the replace first? I can't remember. Oh, I keep forgetting these things. Go get um, that. It's going to go bang, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so it's the same thing. So it's something like go mod edit place. This at B uh, same as previous one zero dot zero dot zero unpublished equals that that package. Snippet That's correct, isn't it? Did la la snippet. And then I should be able to do the go get. No. Why? No one hasn't added it. Yeah, okay, should read the command, shouldn't I? Dig no, no, there go, mod edit. Place. Okay. So now it should have the place in here. Okay. And then we should be able to do. That. Okay. Right, that's good. Let's recognise that I need a UUID as well. Okay, right. Give it a quick refresh. Okay, now comes the fun bit. Um, so, I have no idea This is going to work on the demon. I'm assuming that I can just return the new snippet. On the D bus. So let's see what happens. Um, so we're going to do maybe I should look at the docs first to see it might work. Let's see. Let's see if I can basically do the same as a ping. I don't think I can, but so if I do var snippet. Snippet. Then Basically that. But we're calling and snippet. Uh, 
and a pass name abbreviation and body. I'm going to store it in snippet. If it goes horribly wrong, return nil or an error. Otherwise, return the snippet and nil. Yeah. That's not going to work. I don't think I can. Actually, I wonder. If I instead just assign an empty snippet, will that work? Oh, and the address of it. I just want to do that. So it does. How did I get around that? No, <laughs> new snippet. The feeling that's not going to work. But I'm going to give it a go. Um, and then go look at the docs. You know, because that's the order you do things, isn't it? So <laughs> here we'll do snippet. So here we're doing the command actual bin called in the main run. So add snippet. So when we get that command, yeah. So we're looking at the config command that we've just passed in the flags. Uh, what we're going to do, I guess. We just need to return nil if it's good because it's done. We don't need any kind of output. It's just, yep, done. So Yeah, I was just thinking whether I should actually just not return the snippet from add snippet in the dbus cooler. But I can imagine that um, we might want to say um, 
yeah, return return the ID. So we might add, add that as an extra param to the add snippet. Because you can imagine if you're building a bunch of CLI commands, you want to might want to pass the the ID into something to. do something or return it as a as a JSON formatted response or something in the future. So yeah we'll keep we'll keep the debus passing back what it's got. Um, so we're gonna do in that case we are going to do a new snippet or error is equal to service uh, no oh yes <laughs> um, the debus thing needs to actually know That's right, I need the service caller. That needs to know about it. Um. Don't suppose we need to do that. Okay, so service callers should have a add snippet. Passing in a string and a string and expecting back a Snippet and error. Now I've got to do the uh, Got to do the package and put stuff in there as well. So let's do that. So go into the other package. And then add it. So that should be good. Okay. Refresh. Okay. So back in here, it should now understand that snippet. Now 
Now, can I do... Are you able to do this? No? That's not a thing. Just pass in zero and then one. Let's check that. Go lang spread our bread. What can we do with it? I have a struct, an instance of that struct, blah, blah, blah. I want to create a slice of struct object, okay. Which contain valid object. Some fields change, I think. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's different. That's not what I want to do. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I have to specify them. Oh, I can do an unpack. Oh, let's see. So in theory... Uh, oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. What was being used there? Names. Yeah, yeah, it's a slice. Okay. So in theory... I can do that. Or not. Why? It's used when defining the variant function since the arguments are packed into a slice. Unpack operator. Okay, so do I have to have that then to be able to do that? Hmm. Right, but I can't. Unpack unless there's a variant. 
by the looks of things. Even if I know I've got the right number. Check that. Blah blah blah. Uh, no, thank you. Um, right. Okay, you're gone. Good. Okay. All right. So I just have to do the manual way, which is fine, but just wondered if it was possible. Okay. And what have we got? Stop there. Oh, yeah, unused. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. So, if we have and then we just need turn that. Otherwise, we just fall through, don't we? So at the moment, we don't care about that. Um, well, let's do a quick test. Let's do... If it does come through, then let's just do a quick log. Where are you? I'll just do a log. Let's see what happens with that. A feeling it's not going to work, but we'll give it a go. So here we will really do need to get the make file made. Right, so snippet pixie add nothing should give me an error if I then start adding things like. Um, that and that 
What does it do? Because the demon's running. Boom. Message to be disconnected from the message bus without applying. Well, that's good. At least they picked that up. Um, okay. That's until I did. Planet empty struct. Just let's just make sure that that was built properly. Do that again, just in case, because we've just changed some stuff. Oh. That's good. Okay. So this failed previously after inserted into the database. Yes. Okay. So it got the strings, no problem. But then went bang. At least uh, the test happened there as well for the ad. So the demon, it complains. Somewhere after this. What was the message then? Empty struct. Okay. I believe it's time to look at the docs. Um, GitHub. Go Dbus. Dbus. All right. Strong Southern variant and signature encode as a struct containing the exported fields. Fields these tags contain debus bar and, and unexported fields will be skipped. Pointers encode as the value they're pointed to. Types, kind of blah, blah. For incoming messages, the inverse of these rules are applied with the exception of structs. Incoming structs are presented as a slice of empty interfaces containing the struct fields in the correct order. The store function can be used to convert such values to go structs. 
Okay. Don't look at that mistake. Store cop is the value contained in source to destination, which must be a slice of pointers. It converts slices of interfaces from source to corresponding structs in destination. An error is returned if the lengths of source and destination or the types of their elements don't match. Okay. So, in the daemon, I am getting a struct Hmm, actually I'm getting the pointer to a struct. And returning it. That's probably problem number one. And then let's move that over there. Come here. And then problem number two is probably I might need to catch catch the responses there generic interface and then store it in the snippet struct which will be fun. Okay. So I'm going to do a quick test here then. I'm going to take that and then here. We're going to return No, we're not apparently.
keep forgetting how to do this, right? So if I'm going to get back. Let's build a new one and see what happens. Definitely decomposed it. So we're definitely going to copy back now. I'm sure it's a better way of doing it, but. That's a fairly safe way of doing it. I'm going to empty snippet um, and then building up the new one and then returning it. That should do. So that's in the daemon and that means that we are definitely returning this snippet. But how we store that is another matter. So let's stop the daemon, rebuild it and start it again. And then up here, I don't think we made any changes, but I'll just build that again. 
and then right so I'm gonna get the same unique constraint okay so let's do um, SPU Snippet Pixie dot com. Snippet Pixie dot com. Boom. Okay. Empty struct. Not sure what that means, but I presume I've now got an extra snippet in there. Yeah, so that works. Okay, I'll delete those. Okay, no snippets anymore. Um, so that wasn't the problem. It's got to be. way it's been returned why does it say empty struct empty struct So So we've got a debug version running now. Let's tickle it and see what happens. Okay. So here's the panic. handle call. So we're doing add snippet. And it's getting those. So that's all okay. Then it goes into there. And it's got an ID, UID. It's got the so that's all we're all good there. Got something. Okay. 
Then it goes into get the signature. Drops down into struct. Build reflect struct. Get signature. So What's the why? Boolean? Huh. What's that for? Just got to the date. All right, okay. has come through. Hmm. Don't get that. So at this point, And the fourth field, which is the date last used, T fields. Got a type. What's A? A 
array. Okay, well that's the That's a UUID, I guess. Don't know why. Oh. It. Hmm. Got strings. Hasn't got S yet. V is the signature. The type. It's trying to make a variant. Why? Okay. Um out of time again. So let's kill it off. And then see at what point it does the thing. Just want to get shot. No, we didn't get any tables there, okay. Mm. Ah, uh, because it's already open. Let's kill that off. Oh, I don't know. Where, oh, I don't know where the database is because it's running in debug mode. That's interesting. <laughs> um. All right, 
it's all the way down there. Okay. Well, let's just create another one instead. All right, so it gets here with no problem. So now we can... Oh, hold on, what have we got? So we are about to return... all the right things. Um, so let's step in. And it's not taking me anywhere. Okay, yeah, we don't want to do all that. Okay, let's step out of that. Okay, that's not good. Right, I've run out of time anyway, so I've got to stop. But that is weird, so I need to see if I can find an example. Because I'm obviously doing something wrong there with the structure. Structure. Um, and it's not... I probably need to return it back in some other way. Or maybe I need to define it. Um, in the service, export it properly. That could be it. Okay. Um, so to do uh, work out how to return a struct. Via D bus. Okay. Now do that's something I can uh, look into and uh, hopefully fix tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. Um, so uh, until next time. Um, thanks for watching and um, you take care.